Alrighty, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I hope that y'all are as ready as I am and excited for this unboxing of the new Tacovas the Brady. Yes, this is a re-release of the original Brady and it's going to come in a slightly different color. So I'm pretty excited about it and I made a video about the original Brady um, a few months ago, approximately about three months ago. So I'm going to put a link right up here to that video so you guys can check it out. But this is going to be the new re-release. And in that prior video, I kind of talk about the Brady, its origin, uh, when they came out, because the Brady came out in June of 2020. So it took Tacovas about three years to do a re-release of the Brady's. And I'm glad that they decided to go ahead and make a re-release. And I'm also glad that these boots are not the exact same version of the Brady's. They switched a couple things up, which we're going to look at because I also have the original Brady's here with me that I'm going to show you guys. And we're going to put them side by side so that you guys can see the differences. Some of the differences are pretty subtle. But the major difference between the original Brady's and the new Brady's is mainly going to be the color. So I'm really happy that Tacovas did decide to switch up the color because if you previously bought the original Brady's right back in 2020 and then you bought a re-release version of the exact same color boot, well, maybe you probably wouldn't have bought the new boot and it would kind of defeat the purpose of the rarity of the original Brady's and it would also defeat the purpose of buying a limited release boot if there's absolutely no changes to it, right? So I'm glad that Tacovas decided to do this and for some people it's gonna be their second pair of Brady's, right? The original and not the new Brady 2.0 uh, that we could probably call it. Or, you know, this may be your first pair of Brady's and that's cool too because hopefully what will happen or what will start happening here in the future is that Tacovas decides to re-release or make new versions of the Brady's, right? So we may get Brady's in different colors. So maybe, you know, every couple years Tacovas decides to do this and I think that this would be an excellent option. Uh, to continue to release these boots because it's almost proven that they're super awesome boots. You know, uh, everybody seems to like them. They're highly sought after. And I wouldn't mind having different pairs in different colors of the Brady in my collection. So that's pretty cool. And guys, I know you guys are ready for this boot review. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So. Of course, guys, you already know, like in mainly or almost all of my videos, I'm going to be purchasing the matching belt for my boots. Unless I have a belt that's almost relatively or super close to in look and color, then in that case, I probably wouldn't purchase the belt. But whenever I buy a different type of skin, I typically go ahead and buy the belt because once these belts are gone, they're gone, right? So you're not gonna be able to find a matching belt or an almost an exact matching belt for the boots that you have once they're gone. Also, Tacovas includes a koozie for whatever type of beverage that you decide you wanna put on here. Uh, Tacovas is really good about including koozies with their boots. So here we go, guys. The moment that everybody has probably been waiting for for the last three years. So here we have one of the Brady boots. And here we have the second Brady boot. I know you guys have been waiting for these boots for three years and now we finally got them again. And aren't these boots just super gorgeous? Yep, they're living up to their Brady name because they look super duper nice, guys. I'm really happy with this purchase and I'm super excited that I have these new Brady's in my collection because we've been waiting for a very, very long time for this re-release. And honestly, we didn't even know if this was gonna happen. 
with Tacovas recently releasing the Bardens, which was almost a second close to the Brady's, you know, looking similar as far as the actual Python skin, but not when the toe shape because the Barden has a square toe or cutter toe shape. And we didn't know if we were gonna get a new version of the Brady here pretty soon. And Tacovas decided to surprise us with the new Brady's and the release of the Brady's coincides with the original release of the Brady's almost exactly to the date June 26, 2020 was the original release of the Brady's and these new Brady's were released June 27, 2023. So almost exactly three years to the date Tacovas decided to release these boots and I'm glad that they did that. They kind of also played around dropping hints here and there that there was going to be a new boot release and you know and they had put up a pair on eBay kind of to show like hey you know we have an unreleased version of the Brady and it wasn't shown that it was Tacovas but people started piecing together the pieces because the office looked like a Tacovas office same boards uh, on the wall that Tacovas has in their office, same tables. And then Tacovas decided to drop an Instagram video where they were kind of doing a walkthrough tour of their offices and the pictures and everything kind of, you know, coincided. And then little symbols, you know, does lightning strike twice and stuff like that, which was similar to the imagery that was used for the original Brady's. So I thought that that was pretty cool, starting to drop hints here and there, and everybody started speculating, right? And within, I would say, about a week, boom, you have the drop of the Brady's, and everybody was super excited about these boots. And of course, why wouldn't you be, right? If you've been waiting for these boots to re-release in three years, you would be super excited to finally be able to get a pair of these boots. So these boots were an online release only for the time being. But the rumor is, is that eventually, you know, they're probably going to sell out online. But the main rumor is that there may be some that are going to be released to a store near you. Where there's also folks that decide that they want to return their boots, right? If they don't like them for one particular reason or another or the fit, people decide to return them directly to the store. So you're going to have a pair of Brady's lingering here and there from different sources. So be on the lookout for that. In case you miss out, you may still be able to get a pair of the Brady's, right? Because they will go out of stock online. But as returns come in and things get put right back into inventory, then you may be able to snatch a pair. Some people were buying the two pair limit just so that they can decide between one or the other, depending on the color, depending on their preference, um, people were gonna keep one and not the other. So there's probably gonna be quite a few Brady's coming back and going in and out of inventory. So if you missed out, and if you're seeing that your size is out of stock, don't worry, some of these may come back in stock. So be on the lookout. Um, I'm also gonna provide a link in the description that will take you straight to Tacovas, and that also helps the channel and lets them know that I'm the person sending you guys. So you can go into that Tacovas website link and see if you can find the Brady's in your size, or if you're watching this video at the time and you didn't buy them, you can go in there and try to locate a pair of Brady's because like I mentioned before, they will be coming in and out of stock. So that's gonna be something to be on the lookout for. So guys, if you didn't land a pair, you still will have a chance. And hopefully, you know, like I was mentioning before, we get more versions of the Brady's. That would be really, really cool uh, to see more and more Brady's because to be honest with you guys, these boots are gonna look good with anything that you decide to wear, right? From denim to your dress pants, these boots are gonna look awesome, right? These are a great pair of boots to have in your collection, but also now that we've seen the boots, let's get into the actual components of what this boot is made out of, the colors and designs that Tacovas decided to go with. Also, we're gonna discuss some of the differences 
that Tacobas went with from the original braids. And like I said before, I like the fact that Tacobas decided to switch it up because if you had the exact same boot, well, you know, that would make it kind of boring. Even though the originals are the most highly sought after boot, well, in the future, you may be owning a pair of a highly sought after boot, or not even maybe, you will be owning a pair of the most sought after boots in the Tacovas lineup. So guys, let's get into these boots and see the construction of the boots. Here we can see that this boot features a vamp that is made out of python and the color that Tacovas decided to go with is a tan python and the cut that we're seeing here is a back cut. And the reason being is because the snake skin is cut on the back of the snake in order to achieve and preserve the look of the belly. So the cut happens on the back of the snake and we're keeping the belly of the snake in order to have this kind of look. The same thing goes for the back counter of the snake. You can see that you have a little bit of that belly there and um, it's staying true and consistent with the original style of the Brady's, which I'm gonna show you guys. And we're gonna have a side-by-side -side look so that you guys can see what you like or dislike or whatever the case may be from both boots and have a good comparison of both boots. And also one thing that I wanted to ask you guys in the comments down below is to let me know if you purchase these boots or if you're gonna decide to buy them here in the near future. I really wouldn't hesitate to buy these boots uh, because they're gonna go out of stock pretty soon. And once they're gone, they're gonna be gone, guys. So now let's move on to the shaft of these Brady's. And what we can see is that Tacobas decided to keep the shaft the same style and keep the same inlay as well as the same cording and on the shaft of these boots which was a definitely good choice because this lets you know that this is a brady so i'm glad that they decided to do that and honestly when i first talked about tacovas having a re-release of these boots i honestly thought that they were going to maintain the same color of the vamp and switch up the color of the shaft, but they decided to make the whole boots just a few shades darker than the original, which honestly I can say that was a good decision from Tacovas, and I'm glad that they decided to do this, even though I know some folks wanted the exact same versions of the boots. So I'm super happy that I was able to grab a pair as soon as they became available online because I knew that these boots will probably be selling out real quick. So, yep, Tacovas decided to maintain some of the things the same. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the edging of your boot, right? And also the leather sole on this boot. So Tacovas maintained almost a real similar color as far as the edging of the boot as the originals, but where they switched it up a little was on the leather sole. Tacovas decided to go with a same similar natural leather sole, but it somewhat resembles and matches the vamp color. So you're getting a, you know, a translucent leather look on there, but it's a slighter, darker tint from the original and it's going to match fairly well with the vamp on this boot which again was a very good choice by Tacovas, and it shows that Tacovas was paying attention to the details and they were structuring the redesign and the look of this boot really really well and of course you're going to have your Tacovas name on your leather sole you're going to have like four brass nails and lemon wood pegs on here as well as an inch and a half leather stacked cowboy heel with a rubber heel cap with the Tacovas logo on it, which is pretty standard for what they decide to do on most of their boots, but it looks real good. Now, what we're gonna do is have a close look at the front of the boot, the sides of the boots, the back of the boots, and now that we've seen what this new version of the Brady looks like, 
Well, it's time to bring in the original Brady into this video to make a cameo and so that we can see some detailed comparisons between both boots so that you guys can also let me know in the comments down below which boot you prefer, whether it's the original, the new version of this Brady, and what you like or what you may be disliking about this new version of the boot or what you wish Tacovas decides to add to a new version of a Brady. Hopefully in the future, it may take a while, like in this case it took three years. Hopefully Tacovas decides to add more Brady's to their lineup. So let's go ahead and bring in the original Brady's into this video so that we can see them side by side and get a comparison between both boots. Here we have the new version for the Brady's in your tan python and here we have the original Brady's in a natural tan python which as you can see they're going to be a different shade of color and this is going to be true for the vamp as well as for the shaft and also another thing that I wanted to mention is that the color is going to vary by boots because no two pair of boots are going to be exactly the same because these are handmade boots and dyed differently at different times. But overall, they're gonna be real close in color. So now we're gonna start things off by giving you a direct comparison of both boots, right? The original and the new version of the Brady. And we're gonna start things off by me showing you the left side of both boots. So now let's go ahead and take a look at both right boots. And here we can see the bottom of both boots we can see the slight differences in color as far as the leather soles on them here we can see that the scale pattern on the counter of both boots also varies slightly with the original having a smaller scale pattern than the new version of the brady's but the difference is really really small so guys that's going to be it for today if you're liking these kinds of videos please consider subscribing so that you can get notified whenever i have new videos out and also please don't forget to leave a comment whether you bought these new Brady's, whether you own the originals, or maybe you decide that you want to pass on these and decided to go with another limited release from Tacovas. That's cool as well. Let me know which boots you decided to purchase. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye you guys.